What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my main account. In this video, we're going to be doing the new event shopping spree, which I have not checked out yet, but I did purchase gems today in order to do it. We also have some other events as well. Lucky Prospector, we got Egg Smashathon, and then at the end, I wanted to get into Pirate's Booty, check it out, and also spend, I don't know, like 12,000 gems, 10 tries at worth of 1,200 gems, just to see what we get, to see if I might want to do this on the free-to-play account. Now, eventually, I know I'm going to do Pirate's Booty if the rewards are right. I do want some insignias on my free-to-play, no doubt about that. So let's go ahead and start off with the shopping spree and check this out. So we got... Event details. During the event, earn two spree chances for every 3,000 gems, excluding bonus gems that you buy. So right off the start, this event has nothing to do with free to play. You can only, it looks like you can only access it through spending gems. And I noticed this before I bought, I was like, all right, I'm going to buy for this and read up and then just go ahead and do it. So we got each item stock is listed under its icon. Stocks are limited across the whole server. So buy the items you want before other players do. So it's a race? You may buy the same item multiple times as long as it's in stock. Each purchase consumes one spree chance. Okay, so everything costs the same by one spree chance. The shop will open 10 minutes after the event starting time. We recommend that you purchase gems. We recommend that you purchase gems. Of course you do, IGG. Of course you recommend that you purchase gems. During this 10-minute window to accumulate spree chances before the shop opens. Upon opening, the shop will replenish stocks every two hours. All right, so every two hours it replenishes stocks. I wonder if it replenishes all stocks or not. Spree chances cannot be carried over to the next event. Please use all your chances in the current event. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here and check this out. So what do we got going down and what do we even want? All right, so wow, quite a bit of good stuff here. Some stuff already sold out and it looks like the shop doesn't refresh for another hour and 16 minutes. So I see some things that I want already though. And it looks like the total amount is what starred and everything cost one. So, man, if you come to the shop early, you can basically get a skelly for 20 bucks. That's not bad. Skelly for 20 bucks, you can get a, uh, you can get a Levanica for what? 40 bucks. Yeah. If you get lucky and you can get four of the 50 pack of soul stones. Obviously, the item sold out, and I don't even know how many it comes with. It could only come with one. I don't really know. But you can also get four level 9 talent runes, which is pretty big. And what's kind of lame about it is they have the they have the section that sells out, and then they also have the same item with less soul stones. Because look at this. we got the 50 soul stones, and everything costs the same amount. So you can either get 50 soul stones, or you can get 20 that's not sold out or the same with talent runes. You can get four level nine talent runes or only one. That's kind of crazy. I think, oh, look at this. You can get birth rocks as well, 150 at a time. That's honestly not that bad. The same with the new castle chest, but I think what I got to focus on is the, uh, the igniting stones and also those, what are those other stones called? I always forget the name of that freaking Zenna stones. Yeah. Igniting stones and Zenna stones or birth. Yeah. No, I'm not going to focus birth rocks because why would I do that? Is that a level eight bag right here? Yes, it is. Wow. You can get a level eight insignia from this too. All right. So yeah, I think I'm just going to go with both of these stones. Just go with like an even amount. So I just confirm and get, yay. You, wow. This is a crazy event. It's kind of boring, but it's pretty good with the fact of you can just choose what you want. And I think really I just want Zenith and Igniting Stones. I mean, everything else I have a ton of. It's not like I need any heroes out of this or it's not like I need... Man, that's pretty crazy. They're giving out 60 of these also. 60 for one try seems like a pretty hefty amount. This event's going to be really good for players that are looking for, let's say, like... Lazu. I wonder how many Lazu snow. Well, that'd be still pretty expensive to get Lazu. But if you want Skelly or Levanica and you wait for this refresh, I mean, that's going to be pretty freaking big. Well, we're actually going to get a solid amount of igniting stones and Zena stones from this, like almost 1,500. That is not bad at all. 20 Zena stones at a time, which 
is kind of a low amount. Look at the stock. It goes in stock. It just keeps lowering. We'll keep it at the same amount. I'm guessing nobody really buys the Zenith and Igniting Stones because, for one, it's for like top-notch pay-to-play. And for two, there's so many other items here. And they actually have unlimited stock. I just now noticed that. So you can get blue crystals, unlimited amount. A couple things unlimited amount. Why did they just make everything unlimited amount? I guess so some of us had to rush to this and be like, oh, or actually, never mind. It's not so we had to rush to it. It's so people buy gems and they're like, oh, all right, I bought gems. Let's wait for Levanica. And then there's just a bunch of people spamming it. I bet those Levanicas and all the other stuff sells out near instantly probably. Yeah, I guarantee it. All right, let's go ahead and get some more igniting stones. We'll buy a couple more zenas, and we'll end it on an igniting stone. All right, so that's the event. All you do is straight up just purchase things. I bought a bunch of stones. Not bad. Does it tell me what other people bought? No, just some more rules. And what's that refresh do? I don't know what that refresh does. Just refreshes the same list that we had. All right, so all that stuff got sent to the mailbox. We do have the fountain going on, so you guys make sure not to forget the fountain. Go ahead and cap out on that. And as far as this goes, I do not want to collect any of those books, which I can't anyway. So how many stones do we get? We got 1,000 total igniting stones and 240 zenith stones, which is actually pretty good. After this video is over and I do all the events and then Pirate's Booty, I'm going to make another video doing breakthrough levels, which is going to be absolutely wild because I think I have... I got 4,200 igniting stones and 1,700 zenith stones. That's a pretty hefty amount out to be honest with you all right yeah so we are wow how many of those have 108 i mean i need to choose some level nine talent sometime soon goodness gracious all right so let's get back into the events and get into pirates booty as well we got lucky prospector which i'm just going to use 10 tries at a time and get this event over as quick as possible so we got 36 total chances which actually gets us all the boxes rewards on the right side i'm just going to do one draw six times and then 10 10 10 i don't really think I mean, honestly, what am I even doing this event for? They need to update this event, man. For the heavy pay-to-play players, this event's terrible. Even for, like, the normal... Even if you spend, like, my, my new pay-to-play account, would anything be useful in this? Not really. Maybe a flame guard. I'm not sure if he needs flame guard as a talent. Maybe, like, a flame guard for Walla or something. I don't really know. He really doesn't even need flame guard, to be honest. This would be useless for even my new pay-to-play. It's nice to see that dub, though. What else do we got? We got 10 rolls. Dub's not even rare. We got two flame guards, a blue bag, 100 demo soul stones. All right, let's do another 10 at a time. And then we got 10 left. Land on Levanica. We got a war god, another 50 demo soul stones, two sprints, two rock nose. Got some Mahatma and Skelly soul stones. What else do we got from the final 10? We got Zealous Drive, some scatters, Walla. We got all kinds of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and collect all this as well. Five of those, five of those, ten of them, and ten of them. All right, so not too bad. Let's go ahead and collect all these rewards. We got well, How do we only get one Dove Keeper when Dove Keeper's not even rare? We got one Walla Walla, 150 Demo Soul Stones. Wow, that's pretty crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and get in. What else do we got? We got Egg smash -a -thon, 36 freaking eggs. Oh, my gosh. We got a lot of eggs about to get smashed. There we go. That's what I like to see is those glacies. We got a golden egg for Rowdy Rascals. Too bad we don't need Rowdy Rascals. And I really don't need any of the pets, Glacy or Rudolph. But I like to cheer for the pets because I feel like in the future, I don't know how long, but eventually they're probably going to come out with, I don't know, a, some type of higher level for the pets. Or they got to do something with all our extra pets. I mean, I got an insane amount of extra pets on this account that do absolutely nothing. It's like, okay, I have 7,000 extra Rudolphs, but they just sit in the pet plaza and do nothing. It's like they need to add one damage per pet or something or give, I don't know. They need to figure out something that would make it adjustable because otherwise, what's the point of people to keep buying pets? It doesn't really amp them up. We need something to amp us up. Give us some more rewards for the pets. Come on, what do we got coming? We got some more Mastery Essences. We got some Prime Bags. I'm going to go ahead and open up these Prime Bags, too, before I get into uh, Pirate's Booty, because I actually have quite a bit of those Prime Bags, if I'm not mistaken. So we got another Golden Egg coming up. Golden Egg for... Oh, some freaking books. Get out of here. You're going to give me books? My mailbox is full. 
Oh man, that sucks because I'm going to be able to claim those books. 30 books, that is miserable. 450 glaciers, that's insane. 90 mastery essences, that's actually quite a bit too. 90,000 fame. Wow, the rewards from the egg smash really aren't even that bad. How many uh, talent runes does that give you? 10? Oh my gosh, that's 10,000 fame for one of those. That's wild. All right, so they up the amounts on all the stuff. No doubt about that. We got two of these castle chest level three. We don't care what we get, but we will take all the extra fame. Thank you. We also got 23 prime insignia packs. Like you guys know, I'm looking for revitalize, and we got one. Thank you. We got some side shield action. We got, man, I have so many insignias adding up on this account. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, so we got one cool blue bag for zealous drive. Or 10 Dove Soul Stones. We also got 10 Prime Bag 1s, which honestly, I guess Vital Boon Talents. I don't even know what to cheer for. Don't need any of that stuff. Really, the reason why I buy, I see people asking me, JG, why do you still buy gems? Two reasons. One is I'm trying to get to 2 million total gems. The second is I want uh, Igniting and the new Zenith Stone. So I'm trying to level up breakthrough levels. Once I get... Uh, once I get maxed out breakthrough levels of my six arena heroes, then I'll probably stop the heavy purchases, right? That's kind of what I'm waiting on. So from these, I think I just want Boogeyman scraps, Rowdy Rascal scraps. That's really all I'm cheering for. Don't need any more Lazus. So we got 30, book 40 Boogie. We got some Boogeyman scraps in there. We got some Lazu Soul Stones in there too, but we'll take the scraps. Let's see. We got uh, 200 of those chests now. That is kind of ridiculous. And 20 of these chests. We'll go ahead and... Oh. We can't even open those chests. What do we have to... Oh, the books. All right. We have too many bugs. Yeah, we have too many bugs. Stupid. All right. So, go ahead and use these boogeyman stones. Enchant... Oh, we still need 10 more. That is unfortunate. We can go ahead and enchant our rowdy up, though. All right. So, what do we got next? We got Pirate's Booty. I'm excited to see what Pirate's Booty is handing out today. We got a free draw, but what are they handing out overall? Is it free-to-play friendly? Hmm. All right, so this pirate booty looks somewhat similar to the last pirate's booty we had on iOS, honestly. I wish these Levanica bags would be Levanica bag 2 and only one of them, just to give free-to-play chance that chance to actually get Levanica. Because having level 1 bags here, let's be honest, most of the time you see one soul stone. If you're lucky, you see 5 or 10, but I've never even seen 30 from one of these bags, so I know it's extremely rare, and it just doesn't give us good enough of a chance to get Levanica. Those needed to be up to Levanica bag 2. Come on, IGG, step your freaking game up. These are really nice to see in here. However, I'm pretty sure they're pretty rare, so that's not nice. Uh, although these Prime Bag 3s are definitely nice, and the Prime Hero Card 3s, I've seen they've been handing out quite a bit of those, along with the Insignia Pack 6s, which is definitely nice. I hope that we step up like Android has stepped up and put in some more Prime Bags. I noticed on Android, they not only have one, but they have two Insignia Packs, which is super nice for free-to-play. However, we do have Athene and Walla Walla, which is... Pretty nice on iOS as well, no doubt. The rewards are coming on pretty strong through Pirate's Booty. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and run out 10 of these. Let's see, what do we got? We got Honor Badges, which is terrible. So let's go ahead and run out 10 of these, see what we get. How many Wallas are we going to get? How many? How much love are we going to receive? We got one Prime 3, two of things from a 1200 roll. It's not too bad. All right, let's get back in. Might as well collect this from the warehouse or from the uh, mailbox. And let's get into Pirate's Booty. All right, let's do another 1200. We got a Walla Walla. It's nice to see the Walla action. I really want to see those Prime Insignia bags. That's what I was hoping for. Come on, give me a couple of them. Wow, that is terrible roll right there. No, nothing rare at all. We got Prime Bag 1s, which is nice. That's actually pretty good for free-to-play as well because you can get Vital Boon out of that. Where did I even see Prime Bag 1? Oh, okay, so it's not even actually rare. So if you need a talent for your Michael on free-to-play or a talent on... I mean, anything that could use Vital Boon, which is actually quite a bit of heroes, or if you need that insignia of Sunder or Vital Boon. So, I mean, that's actually not too bad to see those. Not to, not bad. I like to see Prime Bag 1s, especially if we see a lot of them. We got an Athene. We got 10 Prime Bag 1s again, along with an insignia pack. That's actually making me... I might do this on my free-to-play, to be honest with you guys. I might do one roll of 1,200 just to test my luck, or... I might do 10 rolls of 1,500 gems. Let's see. What do we got? Let's do 10 of these just 150 wise. So we got a prime bag one. We got fame. That's trash. Are we going to see out of 10 rolls, are we going to see any prime insignia pack sixes? We got an Athene. We got arena chances. 
Actually, that's actually pretty good for my main account. I need some arena cards, so I'll take some arena cards. I've been trying to come on strong with arena. We got a Walla Walla. We got some shard action. All right, so we didn't see any insignia packs. Let's get back in and do another 1,200. Come on, give me Levanica bags. We got an Athene right out the gate. Athene and Walla plus a Prime Bag 1. That's honestly pretty nice, especially when you add in six of those refreshes. Okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. What else do we got? We got an Insignia pack. We also got an Athene. Plus, we got, what is that, 1,200, 2,400 gems worth of talent refresh cards included with the Prime. Yeah, I'm going to do one of these. I'm going to do one of these 1,200. I might do like two or three 150s and then one 1,200 on the free-to-play just to see if we can get lucky because, honestly, these rewards are pretty solid. I mean, I think they're going to keep getting better, but they're still not that bad. So let's see. Let's go ahead and open up all those prime bag ones. Let's see. If I was free to play that just rolled 10,000 gems, what would I have gotten? We would have gotten a War God and a Bulwarks level 6 insignia, which is pretty nice for free to play. No doubt about that. Now, these prime bag ones, like I said, we want to see the Vital Boons, which we got asunder plus a lot of Vital Boon insignias. Wow. No Vital Boon talent, so that is pretty unfortunate. We got quite a bit of scraps for Storm and Serena. This is a good way for their, uh, for free to play to get both of those scraps, Serena and Storm, no doubt about that. And did these pet bag threes come from that? I'm not sure if those pet bag threes came from that. If so, that's actually really nice for free to play. Get that new Reapster pet. Plus, if you don't have Rudolph or Glacy, how many bag? How many stones y'all think we're gonna get from two of these Levanica bags? I'm gonna call out a hundred piece. I've never seen a hundred soul stones. Come on, a hundred me. We got ten and a hundred. 10 and 10, back to back on them. All right, so yeah, I don't think there's really anything else I want to do on my main account today. I did want to show you guys something right quick. Y'all are going to think this is pretty crazy. Look how many shards I have saved up on my main account right now. How many is that? That is 133 million. Yeah, that is pretty insane, actually. 133 million shards, boys. <laughs> wow anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed the video and make sure you guys especially if you do buy today make sure y'all are there early on this shopping spree if you're looking to snatch up a levanica for pretty cheap honestly i mean if you get levanica soul stone so let's say you buy you spend 20 bucks or let's say you spend 40 bucks you spend 40 bucks you get four spree chances if you can only get two of those levanica soul stones for 100 let's say you get 100 soul stones for 40 dollars spent can you get anything else that leads up to a Levanica? Nope, the $20 pack's not that good. The $50 pack gives you Skelly, so it's not really that helpful. Oh, this $20, okay, so yeah, you could get this $20 pack, which is actually insanely helpful with the five level nine talent runes as well. That's pretty nice with the Levanica bags. You might could get a full on Levanica for 20 bucks today? Nah. I doubt you'd get lucky enough from 15 bags to get enough soul stones to carry you over. But still, not a bad event. It basically just leads you to whatever you want to get one time. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace out, fellas.